that just the whatever it is of it is, is definitely getting us a rush of energy. So like Bob saying, any of these things that call up more energy, if you're going to handle the energy, and I'm exaggerating the physical, it really doesn't matter what your position is, but there's an opening to that, that power and that, Osensi used to use, a, you know, water down, fire up, produces this steam, but if we're not open, the steam pushes us. Uh, you get a rush of energy because you're having a whatever, could be an argument with someone, could be a big job coming up, could be whatever, and we start to get uncomfortable. The energy sort of, quote unquote, bugs us. And then, you know, we kind of do Aikido, maybe you learn something, you kind of, oh yeah, that's energy, and uh, you kind of, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that energy. So, so then you're, you're a little bit better, you're definitely a little bit better, but you're still kind of separate, kind of trying to work with it or something. At the next level, one, who understands Aikido has the universe within themselves and can say, I am the universe. So at that point, when that energy hits, it doesn't have such a different quality. Do you kind of get what I'm playing with? No. Yes? Yeah, okay. So if you don't connect your attention to your experience, then you won't know you're like this and you'll get further and further out and then you'll try and operate from there and you'll be mad at your uke, wife, kid, boss, whoever it is. And it's your energy that you really want to learn to work with. Does this make any sense? Will you please bring it into your practice? We did as they attack. We are now doing before they attack. Okay? Then what we used to practice, my favorite practice was what I would call a second before. A second before they actually make the commitment to attack. Before the neural energy is flowing. When that quote unquote intention begins to form as soon as there's that psychic activity, you're already receiving information. Uh, Bir Almeida was my capoeira teacher. And he said, you know, when I started playing, I called it playing in the dark. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just, you know, whatever. And then, then he said, after I trained for a while, um, I was called when I'm playing in the light. I could see the moves coming. I knew what to do, whatever, whatever. And I was pretty good then. And he said, then I started to play with my crystal ball. And that meant I could see it coming before they knew they were doing. This is the area we're starting to approach. That sense of a, a crystal ball. Okay. You see it? Okay. So I'm playing with my eyes closed if you're Uke doesn't mind getting bumped once in a while, you can do that. Be careful, be slow uh, in terms of your, or gentle in terms of your movements, but a second before, see if it means anything to you, and if not, do what we were doing in the last practice, no one's going to know. <laughs> you know, any one of these practices you could do for years, and all that would happen is that you would start to reach subtler and finer dimensions of your awareness.